Alex Ely from Mark Ely dot Mark Ely twenty four Mark Ely twenty four at gmail dot com. And I got some very bad news. The RTA is dying. The RTA system is dying. Because people in Ohio don't care about transit. They don't care about railway preservation. They don't care about railroads in general. We don't care. The way the railroad is going has been dying since the 1970s. And people are starting to care less and less about history because of newer technology. You see, the old steam locomotives got scrapped because of newer diesels, and the diesels got scrapped because of more modern diesel electrics. What I'm saying, now we got a situation, but a few have been, a lot of them have been preserved. A lot of trains have been preserved because um, train museums have happened, and because of that, it's happened a lot. But I've got some pretty bad news for our area, the Cleveland RTA. The Cleveland RTA has just scrapped 18 of their rail cars, I believe, from what I've read on the news source, on the newspaper, and on the, um, I believe the, um, on the, uh, from what I read on the news somewhere, one of the news posts on the internet, but from what I understand, um, this is very serious. They don't care about rail... I feel like they're not caring about railway preservation. I never got to talk to the manager, but he never responded back to me. Tells me something. And I'm sad that tax dollars are being wasted on, like... On projects, but they don't care about railway preservation and the rail fans. It really disturbs me, too, that... Um, the rail fans get disturbed... The rail fans are being, um, Dad, I'm doing a video right now. Um, sorry about that. My dad was calling me about something. But, I am a little disturbed right now because the RTA does not seem to, to promote the, um, the rail system very well. They get very little ridership. They get a lot. I want them to survive because I'm a rail fan myself and I build train layouts. My name's Alex Ely, like I said, and I build train layouts in HO scale, O scale, and N scale. Eventually, ON30 scale and a little bit of HON3. But, and I do three rail O scale, which is what I do on my O scale layout. I don't do two rail O scale. And. My O scale layout is kind of huge. It's a 5 by 9 foot layout with O54 track and O42 track plus an ON30 loop. An ON30 circle oval, I mean. But I also have a, um, a, um, I have a giant, um, let me think. I have an HO layout currently under construction right now. This layout is. I don't know how big it is. I've never measured it. But I know it's 187 scale. And I know it's currently... Um, sorry about the text. Um, I know it's currently giant. And as a rail fan from the NMRA, which I was part of for two years, I was part of the National Model Railroad Association for two years. My dad took me there for several years. And I'm a little concerned about um, the railroad industry because um, I'm actually more concerned about it because if they don't start preserving trains, what's going to become of us rail fans? Seriously, what? We won't be effectively anything anymore. If anything, we'll be gone forever. Kids get more into their new iPods, cell phones, smartphones, and all that when... We could be getting into the Lionel trains of the 1950s. I know Lionel, I know DCC has been invented, but still. But we need to start really doing this because, trust me, it's it's pretty bad right now that kids are not getting into model trains. But I think we better be very careful because the RTA has already scrapped 18 other of their red line subway cars made by Tokyo in 1985.
before I was born in 1998. Almost like um, 13 years before, I, 12 or 13 years before I was born. That's when those rail cars were made. 12 or 13 years before I was born. And my dad was, um, he actually was riding the, he actually, believe it or not, was, um, he was like riding the RTA himself. But we rode it together and we did a lot of things. But I'm really worried for the rail fan community. I want people to really start um, appreciating life more. And um, I really, on all these photo rules, I think we need to really start, the photography rules, we need to start allowing people to photograph trains on public property. We can't just let people just get harassed by police or, yeah, the police are usually here to help us. They usually are, and I agree with that. I support the police myself, as a matter of fact. Trust me, I do. But that does not mean that we get to do whatever we want, and we don't. We don't get to do what we, whatever we want because, trust me, that's the law of America. However, photography on public places is allowed. And it's always been allowed. So, regarding rail fanning harassments, I say yes. It's terrible. They shouldn't be happening. And preserving trains for the old train, the RTA in Cleveland, we should be preserving it. We should be keeping the RTA rail system. People ride that thing. And if they shut down the RTA and funding is very low, we can't just keep the funding very low. The low funding cannot happen. It can't just happen overnight. It can't, it has to, the funding can't stop for the RTA. I know politicians could care less about history preservation nowadays because of new technology and Elon Musk and all. But, you know, I care about railway preservation a lot. And that's how we get younger crowds and younger generations like me to see an old steam engine working. You know, when I was little, I used to ride the Strasburg Railway. I've also ridden a lot of subway systems, including the one in New York City, the one in um, Boston, the one in Cleveland, the one in San Francisco. I've also ridden some commuter trains, three systems, New Jersey Transit, Metro North, and the Tri-Rail. I've also ridden the subway system in Washington, D.C. called the Metro Rail. I've li I love these trains very, very much. They are a lifetime to me and very passionate. But if we don't preserve any of their rail cars, what's going to become of history? Especially in my area. Well, thank you for watching. I really hope this inspires you to preserve some RTA cars. Um, see you later. Bye now.